Thanks to our sponsor, this episode of Crazy Fitness Got a Healthy Living Podcast was created using Podcastle. Podcastle is truly the easiest way to start your podcast. You can record remote interviews in studio quality sound. Editing is a breeze with a super intuitive and user friendly audio editor. You can take advantage of their powerful AI tools like Magic Dust to optimize audio levels and remove background noise with just one, with just a single click. And I also use this park, use podcast to automatically transcribe my episodes, which not only lets me share the final transcript with all of you, my listeners on different channels, but it even allows me to use their text editor to clean, to clean up my, any of the episode content I don't like, and I'll correspondingly edit the audio accordingly. Podcast is amazing, all in one platform to create your podcast or any audio and video content. Give it a try at podcastle.ai. That is podcastle.ai. Do you like Crazy Fitness Guy and want us to stay in business? Consider becoming a subscriber to Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast. By becoming a premium podcast subscriber, you will be helping support our mission, which is to help educate people about autism and change their perspective so that they can look at it as a, a unique gift instead of a disease that needs to be cured. At Crazy Fitness Guy, there is only me, a.k.a. Jimmy Clare. I am what you call an indie podcaster, meaning there is no company backing Crazy Fitness Guy. So in other words, if I, so if I run out of money, there would be no more crazyfitnessguy.com. By becoming a premium podcast subscriber, you will get these exclusive benefits like ad-free content, so you do not have to listen to ads like this one anymore. Behind the scenes access. You will get sneak peek previews of upcoming shows. And you will get early access to episodes before it's released worldwide. Crazy Fitness Guys Premium Podcast has been featured over nine plus countries around the world. So just think about that. If you like these exclusive benefits, Go to crazyfinsguy.com slash support for more information. I hope you will consider su- supporting me and Crazy Fitness Guy for years to come. Thank you f- for your generous support over the years. It means a lot to me. Thank you. This is a Crazy Fitness Guy Healthy Living podcast that promotes healthy living through autistic eyes. Please welcome your host Jimmy Clare who is a motivational speaker, autism advocate, author, and founder of crazyfitnessguy.com. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast so you will get notified of every new episode. Now let's get started. There are so many ads these days wherever you go. There are ads in movie theaters, on TV, on radio, and on billboards. So why would you want to listen to ads in a podcast? Subscribe to the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast to get these exclusive benefits. Listen ad-free. Behind-the-scenes access. Access to our free Facebook community. And so much more. Become a premium member for only $5 per month. To learn more about the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast, go to crazyfitnessguy.com slash healthy living podcast or click on the premium podcast link in the show notes. Now let's get back to the show. Okay, uh, today I got a new podcast in- uh, interview with uh, the Keisha Mosley, uh, who I've who I met uh, on an I did a podcast with her uh, how long ago? Uh, a few months ago, right before your anniversary. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. So it's like three months ago. Oh, my goodness, yeah. time flies. I know. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think today is going to be an inspiring... I'm shooting for an inspiring message today, so let's get started. Uh, welcome to uh, Crazy Fitness Guys Healthy Living Podcast. 
thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, and uh, just have to know that I almost forgot what my name of my podcast was. <laughs> After I just rebranded it today. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, that's when you know when you have too much things going on. Yes, <laughs> fine with me. <laughs> uh, so um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, as you said, I am Lakeisha Mosley. I am a serial entrepreneur as well as a corporate worker. So I have a podcast of my own called The Combo with Keisha. I have an event management company called the LM Experience, and I also run a blog named after myself. But by day, I'm a grocery store manager. Jeez, you make me... <laughs> and I thought I was busy. <laughs> uh, I even had a podcast. I even had a podcast. Uh, a uh, guest interviewer on here who's a, a New York Times bestselling author, and he coaches, he teaches, and he writes, and and uh, and he takes care of his family. And oh wow! He puts me to shame too. <laughs> <sighs> I just can't win, can I? <laughs> it's perfect to not have all these things to do, trust me. Uh, uh, so what got you into uh, having your own podcast? Well, I do blog features on my blog. And so I would do them live. So I would actually, you know, call the person or we do Zoom and they'd be like so much fun over, you know, like live. And so one day I just decided like, oh my gosh, like people really don't get to hear the excitement or the fun that we have with doing these interviews. So a friend suggested like, well, why don't you start a podcast? And I was like, a podcast? Uh, no, that's too much work and I don't have time. She was like, you got time to do blog interviews. So why not start a podcast? And so I was like, hmm, started doing a little research and then I saw that it really was easy that it really wasn't as hard as I thought it was and so I just decided to launch actually it's been a year I launched on Father's Day last year um last year on Father's Day and it's just been amazing ever since you and me both I've I've uh I've been enjoying it and uh, I even said to my parents I wouldn't I wish I kind of started a podcast before I started a website. Yes, yes. And because it's costing me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Costing, give my uh, lawyer free steak dinners, but. Exactly. Exactly. Too bad he's not taking me to steak dinner. Uh, <laughs> some sh- lobster dinners and steak dinners. My I goodness. know. I know. My web designer, I know he is like sitting pretty. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're working our butts off. They're just like, hey, you know, um, thanks to the lobster dinner. Uh, exactly. You know, exactly. I, except to, to be fair, my, my lawyer is really great and helpful. So. <laughs> And he's an honest person, so yeah, I can do be I can do it without him. <laughs> if, uh, so, um, tell me a little bit about your podcast. What is what is it about? Well, my podcast uh, features you know entrepreneurs as yourself um, that are really like doing some great things. Like they have. Um, businesses that other people in my audience so my audience is kind of varied but they are into fitness they're into wellness they're into starting a business uh, finances so I actually highlight and feature uh, amazing men and women from all over the world from fitness guys like yourself to money whisperers like my friend Olga to people who are just making things happen in social media and marketing, like my friend Katie, um, just different people. Like there's a variety of folks that I have on my podcast. Uh, that is really interesting. Uh, yeah, sounds like you're doing a lot uh, of work on, over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
<clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, uh, what's your uh, uh, what do you think? What do you think that you're you the uh, most struggles as an entrepreneur and a podcaster? The main one is really time, and I say that lightly because if if we schedule ourselves how we should. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. If we schedule time as we should, if we prioritize things, then time really won't be a factor. But time seems to be the biggest struggle that I have, as well as other other entrepreneurs who have multiple business, as well as who work outside of the home. It's almost like there's never time or enough time for everything to uh, get done. So sometimes uh, time is a a huge, huge uh, factor for me when it comes to uh, taking care of my business and getting my podcast, um, you know, going. I have to, you know, interview for a certain number of weeks and just pile up interviews. Like I just take that time to do that. And then I just release them you know, as they come. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any guests on my podcast. I know that feeling. Uh, I wish we just kind of, uh, that's why I only do my podcast monthly uh, because I'm running so much, so many other things and I'm right. still in college. Jeez Louise. <laughs> feels like an eternity in college. Uh, and I definitely know how you feel that I wish I could buy more time. Yeah. Can you have 48 hours in a day? Exactly. <laughs> I, I'm not a night owl. I don't do well at night. And see, I'm the exact opposite. I am a night owl. Um, and so sometimes that doesn't work for me because I have to get up in the morning um, and go to work. So I I think my peak pro- productivity time is night, but it doesn't work with the other job that I have, um, which is where I work in, you know, the daytime. So I need to like not be up half the night, you know, working on stuff. <laughs> I need to get myself in the bed. Yeah, well, I know if I don't get enough sleep, I'm... You can, I'm basically like the Hulk. People should just yeah. like stay the heck away from me and say, I need <laughs> sleep. Give me sleep. <laughs> it's like they work with the beast inside of me. Hence the yeah. name a fitness guy. So, <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, ha ha. <laughs> uh, so, uh, why did you uh, name, uh, uh, why did why did you come up with the name uh, for your podcast? Well, everything else was kind of branded with my name. My blog is my name. My event management company um, or is my initials. And so when I first launched my podcast, I really couldn't um, come up with something that was like cool, I thought. So my first name was like Confessions of a CEO. And so the premise behind that was I wanted everyone on there to kind of like share something that no one else kind of knew. Well, as you know, Jimmy, folks don't want to tell their business. So that didn't kind of work out um, as much. And so I was like, okay, well, that really doesn't fit, you know, what, I want and what I do and so when I decided to rebrand I was like everything else is named after myself um why not do that and then I saw my podcast as being a lot different than other podcasts where I really like conversations like what we're doing like it's not just a whole bunch of questions like I like for me and my guests to just have conversations and so I said okay let me just change the name to Convo with Keisha because that's really what you know, we're doing. And of course, it just kind of lines up with the other two brands I have just being named after myself. I totally agree with you. I like having conversations. Right now, 
basically all these questions that I'm 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 asking you is literally off the top of my head. I have no notes in front of me at all. Right. <laughs> exactly. I just I like it that way. I even said when I created this podcast, I was like, I I, I don't think I could do one more like thing that I can plan for like. Every blog post I do, I have like some bullet points. There was one podcast I did just to like drop just bullet points down, but I barely even used it during the podcast episode. I might right. take a glance at it, but didn't even read it for word for word. Right, right. Right. Yeah. You want it to be as natural as possible. I know for myself, I do have a form that I have my guests fill out. Thanks to our sponsor to make this podcast happen. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make podcasts. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listeners. It's everything you you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, it only takes about five to 10 minutes to set up. It's simple, easy, and the best part, it's free. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today to just create your own podcast. But it's really mainly to kind of gauge where they want to go with the conversation because you know more about your brand than I do, unless I know you personally. And so I want my audience to hear and and tap into those things that you want to share with them. Mm -hmm. So that's the only reason why I have, you know, a form. But I'm like, I just love for the conversation to flow because it's just kind of it just seems so natural. And people like authenticity. They love just hearing people talk about the things they're passionate about and the things that they love. Out of the out of all the uh, what do you think uh, what if you could change something about your podcast, would you do it? Hmm. Probably have more subscribers. <laughs> more downloads. Um, honestly, no. I think my podcast um, is where it should be, honestly. And I know some people may be like, oh, that's so cliche-ish. No, I honestly think it's where it, sh- it needs to be right now at this moment. Uh uh, there's not a, there's not a lot of pressure other than like I said you know time, um, but I'm having fun doing it. Uh, it's so natural for me, uh, and I was always someone that said, "Oh, I hate the sound of my voice. I will never ever like do anything where I have to constantly use my voice." And look what I'm doing, like <laughs> webinars, podcasts, all of these things. So. I don't think I would change anything. I think my podcast is right where it needs to be. Boy, I wish I could say the same thing because uh, I I hate my the sound of my own voice. Every time I go through the recording and everything, I was talking to my friend earlier, and he would just he, he just loves to uh, mess with me and everything. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> and 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 he's, I told him how many uh, uh, plays that. Uh, uh, that people listen to my podcast and he's just like oh so you listen uh, to your voice 200 and something times and I was like uh, <laughs> I, and it's like I don't think I could do that <laughs> I don't think I can listen to myself that long <laughs> it's like each podcast episode was like 30 to 40 minutes it's like if I did that 200 something plus times and it's like oh my goodness no yeah no no way no way (laughs) every time I hear myself it's like why does everybody else seem louder than me yes I sound like a I sound like a robot (laughs) (laughs) yeah I'm the same way with myself I'm like okay everybody else sounds so good and I just sound like horrible and I can only listen to myself like 
one time, and that's when I'm editing my podcast. So when my podcast launches, I rarely listen to it. Like, I just don't. <laughs> I, I don't even listen to it my own. <laughs> and it's like, I, I might, like, I, I might, like, play it by accident just to, like, to just to make sure that I didn't miss. I might go right. through the whole thing just, just to make sure while I'm editing I don't miss anything. But right. Other than that, it's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I, I don't think I could even do a voiceover for an audio book. I know, I know. I'm like, the people who do, you know, those things, I think it's really cool. But I don't, yeah, I couldn't do it. I, I want James it. Earl of Jones' voice. Yes, or Morgan Freeman. I'm Morgan Friedman, that's true. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, what's another one? Uh, oh, how about Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs? Yes. Cool voice. Yes, cool voice. Oh, uh, I, I need him to get to, I need to get him to do my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it might sound more interesting. <laughs> Oh, oh, I wonder how many more jokes I can come up with today. I'm just on a roll today. <laughs> you know, that's when it's a good day. Right, exactly. We got to have fun in this life. I mean, totally have to have fun. Uh, how do you uh, how do you manage to take uh, breaks when you uh, when you run your own business? Well, I actually, I schedule them. So I come from corporate, which, you know, I'm still there, but leaving soon, actually. But, you know, in corporate, they teach us that what gets scheduled gets done. And it's really true. So it's, it's honestly um, game changing when you can schedule most of your day. I mean, you have to make time for those, you know, what I call you know, oh shit moments, excuse my expression, but you, you have to make time for those because they happen. Like today, me, I was like, okay, I'm going to get off early. I'm going to get home and I can get to fair for Jimmy and be ready. Okay. Well, it was torrential rain. So guess what? I didn't get to leave early. I had to wait until the rain slows down, but you know, it was a time for me to, you know, come home, take a break, relax and get prepared to talk with you. Well, something came up. And I couldn't do that. So you have to schedule in time for yourself. You have to schedule in self-care. Being an entrepreneur is not easy, but it's so, so rewarding. So if you don't take breaks to refuel and re-energize, you can't serve those people who trust you. You can't serve those people who pay you to take care of things for them. So breaks, have they're a must. You have to take them. That's true. I, I uh... I know for myself, uh, next week I'm actually taking a break myself because yeah. I, I need a break. Yeah. And it's funny, speaking of which, of corporate, you want to leave corporate and yet somehow a lot of people around me are trying to, they say, like, oh, well, maybe you should take a job in corporate or or, or get a job in uh and let uh, and let the government take care of you. And it's like uh, I'm not lazy, and I don't really care. <laughs> right? Corporate. No, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. It's like, but it comes with perks, and it's like, yeah, um, an early grave or right? Exactly, stress. <laughs> and it's like I've never been in a corporate, but. Uh, I, but seeing my dad come home every single night for the uh, many years, getting frustrated at his job, and say, like, uh, "Is that what corporate does?" Because um, I don't want any part of that world. Or right? yes, it's so. Um, I mean, Messy. I think about it. Yeah, and I think about it like this, Jimmy. Why would I want to dedicate my life to someone who controls how much money I make? As an entrepreneur, no one controls how much money I make but me. If I get out there and bust my tail 
and I make it happen, then I'm controlling the dollars that come into my business. It doesn't matter how hard I work, how much someone may, you know, prefer coming to my store than going to another person's store. My salary is going to remain the same. It's not going to change. But as an entrepreneur, I can decide how much money I want to make. I can decide, you know, what my caps or what my limits uh, are. And I'm doing it on my own terms. I'm not, you know, other than, you know, the laws of the city and the state and in the government. But beyond that, I make my own rules. I'm my own boss. I work when I want to work. I go to bed when I want to go to bed. I take breaks when I want to take breaks. Like I'm not governed by any other forces uh, but my own. I have total autonomy and I have total control of my entire life. No one controls that. Wait, you're telling me that... That way, a bunch of pawns in their game and from the government. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, this is a news flash to me. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> oh boy! Oh, that's that's scary. Oh, <laughs> might as well have the Terminator take over the world too. <laughs> Long as you do right, they say out to business. Trust me, they don't bother you too much. <laughs> Other than when it's tax time to pay them taxes on that business. That's it. Uncle Sam wants his taxes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all they want is they tax money. They'll leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, be, be nice if they just, be nice if they left me a, a, a lot alone. <laughs> <laughs> They always want more. They always want more money from me. More money, more money. Yes. Uh, I think they should give me more. I think they should give me money. I agree. I totally agree. They should give agree. us all money. Yes. Like give it to us instead of taking it. It's not like it goes to anywhere useful anyway. But... Uh, yeah, you know that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> yeah. That is the truth. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Who do you think uh, would? Uh, out of all your guests that you have on your podcast, who would you say would be your favorite? My favorite. Hmm. And now you don't have to say me. <laughs> oh my God! You are missing me. I think I don't think I really have a favorite. And I say that because everybody brings a different experience and a different um, set of experience or like livelihood to my show. Um, I look at it like my friend Katie says, everybody that comes on my show, you uh, even when Katie came on, I had a, a money expert, Takesha, come on. All of these people it's like me attending a university because not only does they do they give my audience, you know, great information, but I'm soaking in all of that information too. So I get to learn a lot. I get to talk to people from all over the world for free. Like I get to go to Oxford educated, Harvard educated, Yale educated, um, Spelman educated, you know, guests for free. Like I'm getting all the goods for free. So I don't think I really have a favorite one. Everybody brings a fresh perspective and a fresh experience to my show. And so it would be hard for me to pick, you know, someone that would, would be considered a favorite. Boy, I I think after you just said all of that, I think you might I, I think you might have to give me some of these contacts. <laughs> I don't mind, my friend. They are some awesome people. I need more contacts because, <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like I'm running out. I feel like I'm running low. <laughs> I, you know, I don't mind sharing. Sharing is caring. <laughs> hey, that's actually one of my, uh, I actually have uh, share buttons that say that on my website. Sharing is caring. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't mind at all. <laughs> uh, um, what do you think, uh, what do you think is the most, uh, 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 what, what, do you find it, uh, do you find that it, uh, it's a struggle to learn new things every single day as an entrepreneur? I think 
it is in the sense of being able to dedicate the time to it. Because as an entrepreneur, you are, you have the most freedom, you have autonomy, but you are also responsible for every single solitary thing. So you have to learn new things. You have to adapt, especially now, you know, Jimmy, think about it. When COVID came out, we all had to adapt. So as an entrepreneur, you have to learn, you have to adapt to th- different things, but you also want to make sure you're doing it the right way. So I think it's kind of hard to take in new things every single day, but it is something that we should strive to do because, I mean, we have to, we have to now because there's a lot going on. I totally agree. Except for maybe, um, oh. I don't think Apple will like this one, but uh, except for uh, uh, Apple's new uh, update where it's going to block, they're going to have Safari block uh, Google Analytics for pretty much every single website out there in the whole world, which will mess up everybody's data. Yes. So I don't don't think we should be able to adapt to that. Uh, Not at all, because some of us, Look forward to them analytics, honey. I need to know who going to my site. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you know, that's funny. And I know this is off topic, but I just have to say it anyway. But I don't really care. Uh, they're, it's amazing on uh, that they think that they're, yeah, it's going to hurt Google a little bit, but it's not going to make them go away. Right. And two, pretty much every website that I know of, or at least I think everybody that I know of out there uses some sort of Google Analytics or some right. form of analytics tool. And if you're gonna block that, you know how much data you're messing up? Yeah, a lot, a I, lot. And so even if they think that they're gonna hurt Google, they're gonna hurt everybody else. It's collateral exactly. damage. Exactly. Where's where's the lawmakers on that? Uh, nowhere. You yeah. know, they somewhere probably hiding, not worried about it. <laughs> yeah, it, they only worry about it when it, when it, when it, when, uh, when when it's affecting them. Exactly. That's the only time they think about it. But not, you know, right now it could or could not be affecting them, so they don't care. Yeah, but when the whole uh, when everybody's data is messed up and 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 everybody's blocked out of uh, and no one knows if anybody's reading their website from uh, any Apple users, um, right? I don't see this going out over very well for them. Not at all. I don't either. I, I th- don't either. Uh, no offense, Tim Cook, if you listen, but uh, I hope it really backfires. <laughs> okay, now back on yeah. topic. I'm sorry. My, that was my <laughs> rant for the day. <laughs> hey, you know, I just heard this news yesterday around my uh, around my Facebook uh, Facebook group. So <laughs> I was like, no, that, that, that's great. And it's, and it's like always one more roadblock. Speaking of roadblocks, yes. uh, how do you manage to get over roadblocks? Well, I am a personality, so I don't even see roadblocks as roadblocks. I see them as opportunities for me to um, rethink or do something better because there's no one way to do anything. There's... Um, you know, there's really not any right way unless you're breaking the law, <laughs> but you kind of make your own way. And so when roadblocks come up, it, it makes me pause and say, okay, Lakeisha, what, it, what are your processes? Are your processes out of whack? Did you not fully, you know, think this out? Because I'm, I, because I am a personality, I move rather quickly. I move super quick. Like you can drop an idea and I'm like already two steps ahead of you with planning it out and how we're going to execute it. So sometimes 
um, roadblocks, aka opportunities, are ways for me to slow myself down and say, look, homegirl, you need to rethink this thing. Because if it's this many problems with launching it, or if it's this many problems with making it work, you miss something along the way. So sometimes it ca- it, it makes me back up and then rethink what I'm doing. And then nine times out of 10, I'll say most of the time, uh, it yields me a better result because I have missed a step in there because I'm moving so fast. Or I didn't consider uh, one piece of information that would make the whole thing work right. So yeah, I look at them as opportunities. It's a chance for me to slow down and rethink some stuff. Boy, you're going to have to teach me that one because <laughs> I, need some, <laughs> I need some of that. <laughs> uh, I, if only you knew the type of day I had yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't even get me started. That's another story for another time. (laughs) A very, very long story. (laughs) Uh, What what do you think you find the most uh, fun about uh, having a podcast? Oh, my gosh. It's meeting so many different people from all over the world, not just city, state country but all over the world i've had guests um in bali i've had guests uh from the uk i've had guests from nigeria um i mean all over and even here locally in the states i've had guests hawaii um you name it so i for me it's fun to um talk to people from different countries different cultures different backgrounds uh it's it's so like rewarding to me to tap into people who are so knowledgeable uh about their subject matter and then they live you know across the country or they live you know across the world i think that's the most fun to me just curiosity uh where do you live anyway I'm in Houston, Texas. Oh, for 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 a reason, I thought uh, I don't I don't know where I, I don't know I'm I, I guess I've met too many people. <laughs> I was thinking somewhere else. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm I'm in old Houston, Texas. Oh man, I should, should stop by there next time. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I, I need to escape this whole. I feel like I'm, even though I'm at my shore house, I feel like I'm in a prison. I don't know. <laughs> house arrest. I ain't doing yeah, anything. Yeah, I think we we all kind of feeling that, you know, a little bit. But I'm okay with it as long as I don't get sick. I'm okay with being in the house. Uh, I'm okay to a certain extent, but I, I I'm getting tired of this whole thing. And I and I think I'm able to get my haircut next week, which uh, I can't wait. Oh yeah! People say I should keep my hair this long. I hate it. It's 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 just it's it's messing up my. I don't know. I get these curly cues in my hair now, and oh, <laughs> I might as well need a hairstylist too. <laughs> oh, too bad I'm not a Hollywood actor. <laughs> yeah, you probably have somebody on speed dial. They would have came and taken care of you. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, help! <laughs> come over here. I need my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The, just, uh, how do you meet these uh, guests of yours? Well, some of them are referrals. Um, so when I first started my podcast, I, my network is huge because I, you know, I'm an event planner by trade. So my network is kind of big, but um, some of them were referrals. Some of them were people that I knew personally that um, I wanted to have on my podcast. And then um, I joined a couple of Facebook groups. So that's another way that um, 
I meet guests and, you know, one of them is a, a particular podcast um, a Facebook group. And so you can post in there if you're looking for guests and, um, you know, the type of guests you're looking for. Um, you could even tell people that you're wanting to be a guest on their show. But most of my uh, guests have been referrals from someone so like I interview you and you may say hey I got three other people that I think would be perfect for your show they send them over we kind of chat see if we're a good fit bam we schedule and we get it recorded jeez uh, it, it, after this episode we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have, have a little talk about all this <laughs> because I'm as now it's like now you make me now you make me really pick my interest of the of the Facebook group too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very it's very beneficial. Uh, uh, what do you think? Um, uh, do you make the uh, just out of curiosity? Do you uh, make your own uh, like uh, templates for? Uh, um, uh, for your podcast? Yes, I do. I am the Canva queen. I love Canva. And so I just play around in Canva and just kind of come up with something. And then I just use the same template. Because, you know, um, continuity in your brand is is really a good thing. So I make up like one thing and then I just use it, you know, for all of it. So I am in Canva, honey, all the time. Your work inspires me. Oh, thank you. It's uh, uh, I've seen. Um, yeah, I, I like what you have done. Uh, I think it's uh, really compelling. Except, uh, I don't know if you noticed. Uh, since we both use Anchor. Uh, and no, this is not a sponsor. Anger <laughs> 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 commercial. Uh, but no, that's that's later. Uh, 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 but I don't know if you um, know uh, that there there is an option to remove uh, uh, the anchor logo. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, like for your podcast art, I know that, but. Uh, uh, but do you use their uh, logo on their podcast art or? I don't on the ones that I post on social unless I'm, you know, marketing, you know, all of the platforms that I'm on. So, you know, of course, with Anchor, they, you know, put us out to all these different other platforms like, you know, um, Google and and Apple and all of those other ones. So I don't really a lot. You, I don't use the Anchor logo a lot, which I don't mind, but I always have my Anchor web address on my uh, materials. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what do you think uh, um, when you're running a, a, uh, your podcast and business, what do you think is the, one of the most annoying things that uh, annoy you about what other people do like um let me give you an example um uh i saw this one podcaster uh they only had their podcast on uh apple podcast and to me right off the bat and it was like a topic that i was interested in and she mm-hmm. sounded, they sounded like they um know a lot about a certain topic i'm not Specif- specifying the topic because uh, because I don't need any that person knowing that I'm saying something uh, right uh, but uh, like I, I really wanted to listen to their podcast and it was on a topic that I really liked and I want to know more about it uh, because just reading about articles or books or whatever kind of gets boring and they sound like they're an, an authority in that niche and uh, but what kind of bummed me out is that 
it was only on Apple Podcast, and I have an mm. Android phone, and, and it's like, now why, why? I was like, why don't, why don't you uh, publish it on multiple platforms? And it's like, it's not like it's going to cost you anything else. You just take your RSS feed and you, uh, and you submit it to the other platforms, and every episode you come out with will go out of there automatically. Right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it takes some time, but and it's like I I I did mine over like what two to three days, maybe maybe a day and a half. I don't know, but right. I know it wasn't a week, and I know it wasn't like four days or five days. Right. Exactly. So uh, That's true. What, so what do you think an, annoys you about what other people do? I hate when um, when they are that way. Like it's all it's only on one platform. I don't think you um, you know open it up to other guests. Like you're not considering other people who may be interested in hearing your podcast when you do that. Um, I can't stand uh, guests who are not on time or people who. Um, you know, want you on their podcast and they don't even communicate with you about like what's going on or they have tons of ads, Jimmy. Like how many commercials do you need on your podcast? I'm sorry. Like, I know that we, you know, some people are like, oh, well, you know, your sponsors help keep your show running these things. I get that. Trust me. I do. I get it. But I don't want to listen to a podcast and there's like 15 ads on that one podcast. So I'm thinking I'm listening to an hour long podcast when I'm actually listening to like 15 minutes. (laughs) Because you had like 20, you know, you had 20 ads on your podcast. Like, no. Okay. What's your limit of ads then? What's your top limit of ads? I think, honestly, you should have no more than, like, maybe three, maybe four. I'll say maybe four, you know, if, you, if you're trying to split it up. But people don't listen to your podcast for your freaking ads. They listen to your podcast to hear you or to hear the guests that you have on. So to have, like, a ton of ads to me is just highly disrespectful, Right. Like, it's just way too much. I kind of, for me, and I'm kind of guilty of it, uh, I put like four, some, mostly four, maybe six, depending on how, uh, how long it is, but I break it up in like maybe every six to 10 minutes. So then... Mm-hmm. And that's spread out, so you still get a good chunk of time before you hear another ad. And uh-huh. it's like, oh, two minutes ad. It's not like a TV commercial. Right, right. <laughs> right, yeah. I've, I've heard some podcasts where there were so many ads to where, I mean, I couldn't even remember what the podcast was about. Jeez. It was that many ads. And so I was just like... Yeah, it's just too much. Well, if you ever uh, listen to my uh, other four, uh, is it four? Uh, I think it's four episodes now. <laughs> I even forget how many episodes I recorded. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my gosh! See, that's that's um, maybe it's called five, busyness. Maybe six. I don't know. <laughs> that that's my that's busyness. I've heard one. Um, of your episodes and again this this is me on the fly because I most of the time I don't listen to the radio I don't listen to music like I have a Spotify um, you know membership but I use it to listen to yeah I listen to it you know for my podcast to listen to podcasts so I'm always listening to podcasts um, like either on my way to work either when I'm getting dressed in the morning you know those things uh so I I do listen to other podcasters. Of course, I was going to listen to yours. Like, you were on mine. So, of course, I was going to, you know, do that. But I don't think you had, like, a bunch of ads, Jimmy. I think yours was fine. But it's just some of the ones. I think it's mainly the famous people. Let me just say that. 
most of the famous people who have podcasts, you know, I know they do it because they're trying to market their products or whatever, but it's so annoying. Like 15,000 ads in a, a, an hour time space. That's a lot. I think that, I think that, um, I think, uh, I think Lewis House doesn't do that many ads. He, he does some in the beginning and then like some at the like very end and maybe one in the middle, but it's not like I'm gonna bomb you bombard you with twenty five million ads right. here. And <laughs> uh but but yeah, uh and I think there's one with Hel Elrod and he uh he doesn't have too many ads. Um he might uh, like talk about his uh, his own products, like I mean, I mean, like on his from his website, like right. what he does. But he's not like, oh, I'm I'm promoting this as an advertisement, and <laughs> right. Because, could, because, pretty, because pretty much, I could like I I have so many products that I use, I could like bombard everybody with <laughs> all the stuff I use. <laughs> but it doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. <laughs> right. Right. Hell, I wouldn't even yeah. want to listen to myself afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you do a mixture of them. And of course, if, you know, you're someone who has a brand, like, you know, you have a brand, you have a business. You know, I have brands and I have businesses. You know, I think that's okay. And even, you know, thinking now, like, I don't even have ads of my own stuff. Uh on my podcast which you know is probably kind of crazy because maybe I should but you know I don't really think uh people want to spend their time you know listening to a lot of other things when their whole the whole reason why they're there or they're tuning in is to hear you that's the whole reason why they're tuning in Exactly. I, I get tired of ads too. I think that's why I really have stopped watching TV a lot. Yes. I, I think the only thing now I've watched during the summer months now is America's Got Talent because I, I just, I like Terry Crews who just, he's just funny. He reminds me of Nick Cannon though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched it in a long time long time and I don't watch a lot of TV um I'm just always busy and I hate to say that I, I get I hate when people tell me all the time oh I'm busy 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 like oh shut up you're not that busy but honestly like I don't I don't watch a lot of TV um normally from my you know my corporate job I take two days off a week and one day is probably like a day I go really hard in, in all my businesses. You know, I prioritize and I plan out, you know, with my assistant uh, things that I'm going to do for that one particular day. And then probably that second day that I'm off, I may watch some TV or I may be watching like Netflix or Hulu or something like that. But I'm not really into TV. I'm like, you, I get annoyed with all of the foolishness that's on there. Yeah, it's like, uh, so basically, you're telling me that's not really a day off then. <laughs> <laughs> not really, I guess. I guess you're right. <laughs> I think we need to look at uh, a day off in a dictionary because I've lost what a day off was. Yeah. What is a day off? I don't know what a day off is. <laughs> like, when was the last time I had one, you know? Like, truly had a day off. So, yeah. Uh, I right. think the last time I had a day off was, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely need a day off. Yeah. I, uh, actually, I think the one day off I had, uh, well, it was a four-day weekend, was, uh, uh, it was a Memorial Day weekend, and that was it. <laughs> mm, yeah, and so because I'm in retail, there's really no days off, you know, because yeah. people I think they have might have to, to get groceries. I think they might have to re, uh, rethink that one after this whole coronavirus. Yes. 24-7 stores. Let's go. To, let's close at eight. I'm yeah. pretty sure I'm not going to the grocery store at eleven o'clock at night. Yeah, 
And, you know, I never understood why, even as a retail manager, you know, that we're open that late. Um, I think we give people, and, and you know, I know <laughs> people may disagree with this, but I think we give people way too many options. Um, there should be no need for stores to be open that late. Like, get what you need to get within a certain time and, you know, let people go home to their families. And I do understand that there are people who do work, you know, like overnight shifts and, you know, stuff like that. So I, I'm definitely not trying to, you know, say like it's not important for them to be able to get stuff. But I mean, really, truly, what do you need to get at 11 o'clock at night, at uh, 12 o'clock at night? Like, what do you need to get? Uh, I need a midnight snack. <laughs> <laughs> You need to get that while they are open. Figure it out. Maybe some is maybe they went sleepwalking and they're walking to the store. Uh, I need something to eat <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah. And now it's so bad, you know. Where to me, I feel like people are just coming in the store. Just you know, they want to get out of the house. They're tired of being in the house, but the grocery store is not the place to be. You know, that's not. There are so many ads these days wherever you go. There are ads in movie theaters, on TV, on radio, and on billboards. So why would you want to listen to ads in a podcast? Subscribe to the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast to get these exclusive benefits. Listen ad-free. Behind-the-scenes access. Access to our free Facebook community. And so much more. Become a premium member for only $5 per month. To learn more about the Crazy Fitness Guy premium podcast, go to crazyfitnessguy.com slash healthy living podcast or click on the premium podcast link in the show notes. Now let's get back to the show. It's a place where you should be coming to hang out. Yeah, maybe go hang out in a park, uh, six feet uh, social distance. Yes. Uh, your friend's house, if they don't have any symptoms, then just hang out. I don't know. Right, exactly. Find something else to do, but the grocery store is not the spot to hang out. Not even a mall either. Yeah, no, no. Way too many people, way too many people. Uh I feel like we're in a zombie apocalypse. Yes, that is exactly what it feels like. <laughs> That's exactly what it feels like. Uh, uh, do, do you find uh, when you uh, plan uh, your uh, days off and your self-care, do you find that you take them? Um, do you find that you uh, obviously uh, do you find that it's helpful uh, that you uh, uh, that you take it, and and do you find it that it's uh, that it benefits you in your business? Yes, yes, I will. It is very rare. Um, I say out of a month where you know I may schedule ten off days, ten self care days, maybe eight or nine are actually taken. It's it's very rare that I'm going to miss those opportunities uh, to relax because, again, I can't do this business if I'm not at my best. And so in order for me to be at my best, that means that I have to take time off and I have to relax and I have to rejuvenate and I have to just, you know, sometimes get still. I have to go away. So self-care and days off are super important to me. Even my staff members, I'm the same way with them. I will not call them on their days off, uh, they deserve those days off. They work very, very hard. And when you work hard serving other people, you know, as in retail, you know, grocery stores or even malls or whatever, you you need that time to just just focus on yourself and and just get time to relax because it's a lot that's going on, especially now. Um, But yeah, I, I always, always, take my my self-care on my off days always boy i wish my dad's work when i was growing up he i wish uh uh i wish his work left him alone but 
uh, since everybody got cell phones and computers, hey, I'm going to email this person at nine o'clock and I expect this person yeah. to be answer. Yep. Yep. I think it's so inhumane. I think it's, I think it's disrespectful. Um, people's time, even companies that, you know, uh, require that. I think it's awful that if you give, it's like giving somebody something and taking it back. If you give me two days off, darn it, let me take my two days off. Leave me alone. Exactly. I don't want to be bothered. It's like you work twenty four seven. You're gonna put me in an early grave. Right, right. And I tell people all the time, like, take your darn days off. This is why. If something happens to you, if you stroke out, if you have a heart attack, if you die, guess what? They're gonna send your family a flower, maybe, maybe a love gift. But they're going to replace you. Exactly. It's a business. They're going to move on. Exactly. And that's why I, when I see people overworking themselves, I'm like, you know what? And it's like, and it's like, why are you doing this? And it's like, yeah, you need to make a living. Yeah. Right. Like everything. But it's like, there's a right way to do it. And there's... And I feel like those companies who who do that and kind of they, they should have like the slogan that we we prepare you we we prepare you for an open grave and an open casket. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And you're working for someone else for a profit that you may never see. Yeah, you probably get paid a really good salary, you know, or whatever, there may be some benefits or some perks, but you're working for someone else that's going to benefit them. And so that's my whole mindset around, uh, I, of course, I'm going to do my job. I'm always going to do my job, but I refuse to wear myself out for someone else's profit and gain because they're only giving me a small fraction of what they're actually making. Uh, what do you see... Um... How do you, how do you see what do you see for yourself uh, and your business in maybe let's say five or ten years? I expect for my brands to be huge. Uh, I I think very very big. I want to be able to employ other people, but I also want to be able to help other people start their own businesses and their own enterprises. Um, and just branch out and grow. I want my podcast to be huge, maybe even a talk show, you know? I don't know. Talk shows may be obsolete by then. Who knows? But um, I definitely, show? yeah, like they might not even be around anymore. Who knows? Even with podcasts. But uh, yeah, I definitely want my event management um firm to be huge. I want to be able to do all types of events all over the world. I want to employ other event planners and managers um, to be able to bring their skills to the table and help my agency grow and my blog. I definitely want to reach a lot of, I reach a lot of people now, but I want to reach even more people, maybe adding some digital products and courses um, to that. I just want to impact the world in a good way. Um, I just want uh, to be able to leave a good mark with my businesses. I know that feeling. Uh, I, I know. I know this uh, show is all uh, is uh, is your spotlight, but I I, I, I have to uh, put some input on there as well. Uh, uh, I, I know. Uh, I, I know what you mean that you want to kind of leave a good mark. Uh, the um, last, like, a, I think maybe a week or two, maybe three weeks ago, mm -hmm. all, all my days blended. Uh, sorry about by leaving a mark on with your brands because uh, last three few weeks I uh, I jumped on different platforms like um, I switched up stuff like. Like I relaunched my crazy swag shop. I uh, now I can ship all of ship internationally, which I never been able to do before. Uh, oh. I can also. Uh, uh, I also 
um, premium podcast, which is an ad free version, and you get the unedited version and everything. No, this mm-hmm. is not this either. <laughs> <laughs> Just an FYI for anyone out listening out there. Um, <laughs> and then uh, and I also have a uh, community forums that is a private community forums where we can talk everything health and wellness one on one and no one can go peek inside like Facebook. I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Uh, <laughs> and uh, you can't hide what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got that quote from Spongebob sorry <laughs> um, so uh, yeah basically yeah, I know what you mean by you want to leave a good mark on the world and and you want your brim to be well known uh, right. I my brim would be like we are, we are in two different niches but we have big I would say what do we say? Goals or dreams or, or I don't know. Either one I could think maybe works, but right. But I think all of us entrepreneurs are trying to be inspiring to others because right. We don't want the norm, uh, ex- especially with this coronavirus becoming a new norm. Exactly. Exactly. And that's just, just, just go away. <laughs> yeah. At the window. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where can people find you if they uh, to connect and uh, where can they find, listen to your podcast? Well, they can listen to me. I'm on Anchor as well. My show's name is Convo with Keisha. I also have a website. Uh, it's ConvoWithKeisha.com. So if they go on there, they can see all of my latest episodes. They can see past episodes. And if they want to be a guest, they can also um, complete a form to be a guest on my show. And uh, where can they follow you on social media? Oh, I am all over social media. So on Facebook, on Instagram and Twitter, it is Combo with Keisha for my podcast. If they want to connect with me personally, it is Lakeisha Mosley. That's on Facebook, on Instagram and Twitter, as well as LinkedIn. It's Lakeisha M. Mosley. Wow. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you how many social media profiles I'm on. (laughs) (laughs) You don't want to (laughs) know. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to say it anyway. Uh, I think in total, crazy crazy fitness guy and me, yeah, I spread them out too far. Uh, I think maybe 15, 16, maybe 18. Oh, that's a lot. No, I'm not there. <laughs> no, I'm not there. I can tell you some of my cheat sheet, cheat tools after this. Yeah, I oh. have. I am blessed to have. Um, I have a, a amazing social media manager. Her name is Brianna. Um, Brianna is awesome. So she takes care of all of my social uh, for me. Um, we sit down and we plan out what I want to say for that particular week or two weeks in advance and she makes sure all my stuff gets posted for me as well as um, helping me you know research and do all those things so without a team I couldn't do half of what I'm doing then I have a fabulous admin her name's Claudia so she keeps me in line like she's like don't forget you got that podcast tonight with Jimmy don't forget blah 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 so yeah I can't I couldn't do it without the team I have I have an awesome team that's that's nice. I wish I had a team. It's just me, 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 and me. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a team. I couldn't do any of this without them. So you'll you get know, there. Why can't one of those company big companies out there like Google or Apple come out with a cloning machine so I can clone myself? So, I know they think they're doing everything else. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, well, I'm like, why can't they? Why can't I have a cloning machine so I I can I can make a clone just ignore my parents? I can have a clone. <laughs> my I can clone myself to um, do my podcast. And I can I can clone myself to. Um, 
and, and I don't mean like that uh, uh, that Jimmy Neutron episode. Yeah, I'm old school. Uh, <laughs> uh, where uh, he made a bunch of clones, and but but they all have like a certain degree different like phases one is a smart one oh he's the original smart one then he has another smart one but then they all right dumber right no i want the same exact across the board <laughs> <laughs> yes i want i want i want i want, I want like three jimmy claire's all in <laughs> <laughs> well maybe six ten maybe forty <laughs> just so i can just manage it. and the original one will be off on an island somewhere after the solar right. virus and then and i can just just relax and yes yeah <laughs> that's my i wouldn't even call it a dream or a goal but i would like extra help but of course i don't have that <laughs> right yes <laughs> And I won't. I won't pay those clones. They, they, they just exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're just clones. They're just exact replicas. Right. Sure. So I, I should get. I'm the original. I should get paid. They. They're just extras. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, if it was other people, of course I would pay them. But, but just myself, me, 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 and me. No. <laughs> right. Uh well this has been fun. Uh hopefully Thank you. You again. Yes, yes, this has been fun. Of course, it's always fun talking with you, Jimmy. And let's stay in touch. It, it was hard to get you on here because it, you're a po- such a popular person. <laughs> I know, I know. We yeah, I have to make sure I do better about that. <laughs> yeah. uh, make sure you uh, uh, send me a friend request on uh, Facebook too, uh, so we can uh, uh, so we can stay in touch easier. Because I know sometimes Facebook, uh, uh, what's the Facebook pages app, and that, that thing works half of the time. <laughs> I know it's so annoying too. Yes, that's so true. Uh, send me a friend request. I have uh, my personal page uh, somewhere up there. Okay, I will do that. Uh, yeah, I'm no stranger. You, uh, <laughs> even though you, you don't exactly know who I am, but I'm a friendly person. Of course you are. <laughs> to some people. <laughs> Unlike Tim Cook. Uh, <laughs> uh if you like, uh, uh, when I I'm this recording, I can uh, give you uh, some of the, uh, some of the tools that I use. If you like, sure, yeah, send those to me. Not saying if you you need to use them or anything, but I found some cool uh, tools that uh, I found over the um, well last three months since the last time I talked with you. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, send it to me. I'm always open to new stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. L- let me just finish this up. Ep- I'll just finish this episode and we're done. Okay, well, that's it with Lakeisha Mosley. And uh, I'm so glad we actually got this podcast uh, to work after uh, two outages of my <laughs> lovely internet provider. Here's an advertisement <laughs> for you. Uh, uh, Comcast, we can't even make a podcast work on our own network. <laughs> There's one for the books for you. You can add that as a testimonial to me. You, you can have it 100% free. <laughs> right. right. I'm so glad that you can make it, Lakeisha. And uh, I hope we can do this again uh, uh, before the end of the year. Yes, I'd love to. I'd love to. Thank you for having me. And let's keep in touch, like always. Yes, we definitely will. Uh, have a good rest of you. Uh, is it night there or is it even there? It's night here. It's uh, actually, let's see, it's 8. It's 8.28. Yeah, so it's night. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm an hour ahead. Oh, geez, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh well. <laughs> well, have a, a good rest of your night, and uh, uh, it was great having you on. Uh, Thank you. I living. appreciate Please, it. This guy, Healthy Living Podcast. Gee, I almost yeah. said the last, my last podcast name. Good lord. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. After your day, you need a break. <laughs> uh, too bad I don't go get. I don't get paid vacation. <laughs> uh, have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. There are so many ads these days. Wherever you go, there are ads in movie theaters, on TV, on radio, and on billboards. So why would you want to listen to ads in a podcast? Subscribe to the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast to get these exclusive benefits. Listen ad-free. Behind-the-scenes access. Access to our free Facebook community. And so much more. Become a premium member for only $5 per month. To learn more about the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast, go to crazyfitnessguy.com slash healthy living podcast or click on the premium podcast link in the show notes. Now let's get back to the show. Thanks for tuning into another episode of Crazy Fitness Guy Healthy Living Podcast. If you have enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or in your favorite podcast app. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast to get notified of new episodes. In the meantime, visit crazyfitnessguy.com and read the latest blog post while you wait for the next brand new episode. Hope to see you here again.